Hello everyone, Dwayne here, and today we will be using Cognos 11.2 to create a summary report. We will be using prompts and a chart. We also will be using data supplied by Cognos Analytics, which is the great outdoors data module. So let's begin. We are going to start off with a list. List one, query one. Looks good. Also, let's section this off. So we have room for our uh, charts later. So now we're going to go to products. And we're going to go with product line, product type. Go with, yeah, let's go with year, plan revenue, revenue. And that should be good. We'll also create a column with the plan revenue, the revenue percentage. Kind of looks a little long there, so we'll just call it percent of revenue. Save on a little bit of space here. Okay, that looks good. Let's go to page preview so we kind of see how everything's looking. Things looking good. To the product line, we can section this off. Section by product line. We're gonna order it or group it, shall I say, by the product type and order it ascending by the year. Now we'll take these plan revenue, revenue percent difference, and we will get the total of each uh, product type. There we have that. Let's create our title. This would be revenue performance. Looking good already. Let's change the font on that. Let's go with Arial Black. Let's go to just go to 26. We'll go with the underline. Over oh, uh, the underline, I should say. Okay. So now let's create our prompts. We will go to table. That's set up under there. We'll go four columns. Okay, now we got a little bit of room. We'll take text item. And for this one, we'll call it product line. Since that'll be one of the uh, things we'll uh, filter it down by, we'll call the other one product type. Product type. Okay, now let's do our parameters. We'll go to prompting, go to value prompt, create parameter, it'll be product line. Next, go through there, we'll find product line in our data. And this will allow us to only pick items from the product line where they're equal to the product line, we'll make this to that parameter. So we'll make that filter optional. We'll call that product line prompt. Right, we have that done. We will finish that. Auto submit on that. We'll do another value prompt. We will call this one product type. Go to the next package item, we'll click on the product type, click OK. Product type from our data will have the equal to parameter product type, we'll make this optional. Click next, go to query one, since so that's what our list is. Next, and we will call this 
products type prompt. Now that we have that, we finish that. Now let's make sure everything looks good. Change that to query one. Auto submit. And let's start with our visualization. And for this, let's go with a column chart. Target column looks perfect. Okay. And let's say for target, let's go to our data items first. For target, we'll go with plan revenue. So that was our actual target. For the length of them, it will be the revenue. And then we'll go with the product type for the bar. So show each bar show a different product type. And let's kind of differentiate them uh, by color with the year. We'll put the year there. It's a little funky so far. So let's uh, we'll change a couple things. Let's sort this by year. Sorry, years will be in order on the chart. And oops. and we'll go to categories color. Let's change our color to, I like that IBM palette number three. It seems to pop a little bit. So it looks like we're done. So let's run our report. Since Let's get out of development mode. We'll run our report to show what the end user will be using. So we'll hit run. And let's see how do we do. Okay, so product lines here, we got our charts. So these should filter everything. If we did this right, we click on, let's say, golf equipment. The product type should only have golf equipment when we click this. Let's see if that's the case. It is so irons, woods, putters, and golf accessories. And as we can see here, we're, by each year, our target would be the black line where we were at here we got our numbers to look at to see the difference in between them uh if we want to go down even further if we just wanted to see woods for right now we can, can see everything all at once if we wanted to go just to woods we can go to woods and we can get from two how it uh the performance of it from 2015 16 17 and 18 the plan revenue with the revenue and you can see each of the difference uh uh, percentage wise is uh, what we fell short but looks like overall everything was under 10 percent so it looked pretty good so this is how we can use Co ibm cognos analytics to analyze data um we just looked at re re uh, the performance of the revenue um of this product type uh which is the woods and the golf equipment and these are some of the amazing things you can do with IBM Cognos Analytics. Thank you.